And there we go. Um, I'm back. As always. So, uh, let's just get started. Ah. Uh, normally I would not have done this, but, yeah, you know. Um, today we're gonna continue on the, on the wing part, so that's gonna be fine. Um, yes, exactly. Perfect. Just how I wanted it. So yeah, um, we're gonna continue on the wings, and then from the wings on, we're gonna continue on the uh, part where you know the wings is connected to the one wing, and then this one and that wing. So yeah, welcome back to the moth project, and uh, I hope you all gonna be enjoying this. So yeah, uh, let's get starting. So one, two, three, five. Focusing on the dot. The dot is still calibrated. Good. And we can now start. Let's do this. Yep. So today I'm gonna be doing this again for one hour, and then I, you know, I will be just done for the day. So it's one hour again, and that hour is gonna be doing it. So um, we are now close to getting towards the end of the wing itself. So I'm so very happy about it. There you go. So yeah, um, once this is finished, I will be able to do whatever I want that it would mean. So yeah, the wings itself is just you know the same thing as always. It's all the same. It's a repeat this time, so I'm very happy about that. Even though it's a repeat, you know, I'm very happy about it. Oh yes, I forgot about that spot. Yeah, sure. Um, put that to me. There you go. Now I should not. I know I shouldn't, shouldn't be disturbed. So yeah. Um, so when I'm doing this, you know, it's just gonna be me just drawing, so, whoopie daisy do, whatever. Oh boy. So yeah, um, once this is all finished, you know, we're gonna again go to the downside of it. And eventually, you know, we are done with the first wing. And then we're gonna put this down to first wing. And then we're gonna put a new second wing in the in the layer section. So we're going, I'm gonna combine these two in a map and call it the wing one. So that I'm not gonna get confused upon when I'm using the wing itself. So. But the good news is that this this wing is not that of a big of a deal, really, because this is just one wing of the four wings that I need to draw. And you know, some of them are sometimes very difficult for me to uh, realize and then use. Hey, Uncle Zan, how are we doing today? I'm trying to get this thing, you know, fixed. Because you know, uh, once this whole wing is done, I can then focus on the second and the third and the fourth. And this one is the biggest, so 
the bigger the wing, you know, the easier it is for me to get lost. So if this is if this one is done and finish the, uh, I don't have to do that much more. But I need to make I need to remember that you know the wings are gonna be very precise. Also, I'm just drawing the outlines of the of the feathers instead of the uh, of the main part. There you go. Oop. And then that's the whole part. And then you can see like this is already what I done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I connected them all. Now I need to only do this one, that one, this one, and that one, and then I have the full part, uh, the full part done. So the main night, the main problem is that I need to make sure that the feathers are correctly done. That means that the uh, thickness of the feathers needs to be representing, so it should not blend in with the um, midsection of the feathers. So the midsection of the wing. Because sometimes when I'm drawing feathers, you know, the midsection gets blurred out by overwhelming texture, which I need to prevent, and that's where this comes in handy. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best to get this thing all done. So yeah, um, once this texture is done, I can then focus on the midsection, which is going to be just as this, so that should not be that difficult, and then I can continue with the next part of the wing, and then follow that up. I think I will be able to do this in, uh, in an hour this time. Because it's not that much of a time, it's not that much of an issue. It's also not uh, drawing in a weird um, way, like the last uh, part of the, the last part I did. Because I needed to realize, like you know, the uh, feathers had to point into one direction, and that's a really hard direction to draw. I had to draw like this. That's like really hard to do. But I should not be worried now. So yeah. And then once this all is done, I can then focus on the last part. And once I have this wing fixed, I can then produce the other wings and then, you know, put them into the right way. You know, I can move the wings towards a body part. So I can collect collectively uh, uh, place the wings in the right position. Instead of, you know, having one wing, uh, wing be very different than the other ones. Because of the position how it is placed. And now I can just, you know, do it easily. Because it's all in one layer, and I can move the whole layer down, and I can select put both layers, so it is easy to move. But I'm gonna move them also into a map, which then causes me to do it with more ease. And we're almost there, so don't worry about it. And eventually, you know, once this whole thing is done, I am very happy with it if the result is fun. Of finished well the main idea is that because of all of this you know all this part that I'm needed to, to focus on I will be able to get better at it because the focusing part of it is then finished I did something wrong here Let me fix that just like that I created a very blurry vision of wings.
So yeah. Once this whole thing is finished, I'm very happy. Because it might not look like a big thing now that I'm just filling in like little spaces, which normally is the thing that is, you know, happening right now, but uh once I'm filling up the other part of the texture, it will blend in nicely with the uh, parts that I'm already having. Of the wing part, of course. So, I still need to figure out like the legs and the chest, so that's why I first start with the wings, because I already have a thing that I wanted with the wings to be, so that's good. I wanted the wings to be moth like, but I also wanted them to be more hawk like. So that they look like like the hybrid it's supposed to be. So that's why I'm doing it like that. And I have now done this and this. And now it's done. Let's take a bigger look just to make sure that everything is fine. Yes it is. Good. Um now I can finish I can fill this up, so I need to now go back here, open this one again, so now you can see I cannot work on it anymore. That's good because normally that's a very annoying part of it. So, uh, let's see, what is the amount? Oh yeah, it was this amount. So yeah, now I can just, you know, easily work with it, fill in the gaps, the white gaps that are necessary, you know. And then eventually, you know, I will get to the end of the at the end of the wing. And because I'm at the end of the wing, I can then, you know, put a nice finish upon it and then I can continue on the new part of it. So that's how you oh well how I work with creating the texture. Uh, on the wing itself, so I have this harsh, uh, harsh, thick lined uh, lines, and now I have these little skill like, well, not skill like, but featherly looking skill like uh, midsections of the wing, which then represents uh, soft tissue between the wings. Which I think I got. Hold on. I already see here something. So I need to make sure that I'm doing it right. There you go. So yeah, I can just finish things off. I can work around, you know, the whole part of the feathers and I don't even have a problem when I'm erasing because you know I'm not erasing anything if I would draw here accidentally I can just remove it which creates a way better idea well creates for me a little bit more flexibility because then I don't have to be intense um, erasing do intense erasing like uh, I need to do this by the dot and that's not a very good idea uh, yeah so yeah um, once this is all done I will be very happy I can already see that there is a mistake made that I did not do the lines correctly now it should be fine and correct. Otherwise, I need to do redo that part. I just need to light a well, make more, you know, tick line it. But I think it should not be that of a problem. And there we go. So as you can see, the wing is here ending, so that's good. 
but I need to make sure that I have this then done. So I need to shut. The good news is I can just, you know, cancel this and I, and I, I can then easily, you know, fill up the uh, parts that need to be a little bit more thicker on the lines. So that's the that's that's the whole idea. So if I make a mistake, you know, upon um, not having thick outlines upon the feathers, I can just, you know, pull uh, switch off the. Uh, there you go. I'm always going from one side to the other. It's way easier for me because I'm left handed. It's harder for me to do it the other way around. I'm trying to draw olives here. Ovals, uh, that's the word, not olives. Ovals. Because of the uh, feather look, so it's a pointy olive. Uh, olive. Uh, 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 words. So yeah, I'm trying to do my very best here to get this thing done. Eventually, you know, we have one wing done, and then, you know, once the first wing is done, then I only need four more, and I'm then finished with the wings. And then I need to go focusing on the body, which is gonna be more pain in the ass, because the body is needing, uh, has the parts that, you know, need to be fixed around. I need to make sure that I have this, like, uh... I'll try to keep on the shape of the butterfly wing that I drew. So I need to fill this up. But I need to fill it up like it is actually made. Made filled up, so yeah. Mm -hmm. There you have it. So now I have done that. Now I need to make sure that I have a line abo above it. So going back to the part where everything is fused together. Make some skill. There we go. Fix that part, and now we can see what's going on. We can take a look at it. You can see that. Um, Yeah, this this part here and this part here is not very um, not very good. So I need to make sure that I have this more ticked in. So we're gonna remove the layer first. Now we're gonna work on this. And why I'm doing this is uh, because of you know the um, amount of texture that there is, and not to get lost. So I'm trying to get a more ticker line here. Because sometimes it happens, you know, that I did not draw tick enough to um, distinguish the outlines between the feather and the other one. So it happens. And by, you know, Drawing a little bit more ticker outlines on it should be fine. I just need to remind myself that I also need to do them on the other parts of the wing. Oh, for fuck's sake, I don't want to press that button. There you go. They should then actually fix the whole problem, you know, that is happening right now. 
that is uh, caused by it. You know. Because I use a lot of texture, I also need to make sure that I have the outlines fixed so that the wing is represent is represented correctly. Um, one single check, by the way, just double checking. If you hear myself double, then well, it works correctly. It works. It works. Almost thought I had no mic on, but hey, you know, it should be it should be fine. It should be fine. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoy this. You know, it's not. I'm just drawing, so I already know what I'm gonna do. But hey, and now it should be a little bit better to well, there is still there. This part. This part here, not yet. Now it should be fine because now, if I look at the drawing, yes, it's fine, but it needs to be a little bit more exactly. So, um, I need to use the eraser down a little bit. Hold on. There you go. It should be fine now. Well, let's see. Yes, this is now distinguished, right? No, not yet. There's still some. Well, I can just I can just do this again. So there is still some distinguishing that is still lacking. So I need to fix that. Right here, right there. There you go. Now this whole thing should be distinguished correctly. Nice. Very nice. All right. So we fixed the we fixed the part where you know we cannot distinguish between the between the uh, wing and the mid section, which is important. You know we still need to do that. Um. Now I need to take a look here. So. Um, do I want to fix this? Yes, I want to fix this. So, uh, should first then put here. Remove this part right here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna move this part over here because we want to actually make here a little bit more details on the wing. And then we're gonna put here the wing. And open that. There you go. Much better. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, need to fix that some more. There we go. So that's fixed. Now we can continue. And now we have now we can continue here. So the idea is that um this wing is from here to spread and then there the nerves are. So we need to follow the nerves like that. I don't know if I want to put a nerve right there, but I don't think so. I am not gonna put a nerve right there because of the wing itself, how it is representing right now. So every nerve it has one uh tin layer, one there. One there, one there, one there, one right there, and now we can go down, so we are gonna go down to here. So every single angle has a different uh everything has a different angle, as you can see. Like here is the angle, here's an angle, and here's an angle, so I need to go right over there. 
but you can see that the uh, feathers here right here are still a little bit close to each other so I need to figure out like where should I put that but I think I will be fine with that on so yeah zooming in again so that we can draw and uh, now that's a little bit too much so yeah um thank you thank you So yeah, I'm trying to represent these nerves again, and then, you know, from there on I will be, you know, filling them in again, and I'm doing the wrong texture run. Ah, oh, for, for crying out loud, god damn it. I always need to forget that I'm not supposed to do this on this one. Be gone. And we're going back here, and we're going to open this. So now we have the things we can go. Jeez Louise. I always need to remember myself that I don't suppose that I'm not supposed to do that. Because such tiny mistake can actually cause a lot of problems in the late state of it. If it would be a different arm and I would have drawn it on a different layer or on the same layer as the other arm, I would have none capabilities of, you know, putting them into a different position because of the uh well, move tool. So I don't want that to happen. Yeah, and now I have this done. Correct, so I want to bowl this up a little bit, make it more round. There you go. So now we drew the feathers, then we're gonna continue with the well technically I want to draw some more feathers just in case. Wanna have a full, you know, same look everywhere. And have some differences between them. Because it's no fun if you draw draw ah uh, there, there, there you go. There you go. So yes, um, let's try right here, draw there, here, draw there, right there. So now we're gonna do the same thing as before, making sure that the feathers are not merged with the with the midsection. So that's why you know sometimes I try to have this little more back li black line. Under it,
So yeah, um, trying to do my very best upon getting this done. Yeah. Sometimes this gets really in my in my in my nerve, you know. I already feel the, my muscles in my hand being like, "Oh, this is difficult," you know. Because it is. It's very annoying to draw little little strokes by little strokes sometimes because of the amount of pressure you do, the pressure you put on your hand. So always make sure that you have like a way of relieving it. And I have a way of relieving it. I can do, you know, switch around between these and these. So that, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't go like that. That boom. So most of this is gonna be just me just drawing this, and I'm almost getting close to it. Oops. I wonder how there. I wonder how there. Mm. Almost there. Come on. So we get there because of this part here right now. This is gonna be filled up soon, and then you know, we only have one, two left. Yeah, one, two left. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's that's very nice. I'm gonna save this before I'm gonna be ha so first something happens. Also, if I remove this, there is nothing there, so that's good. That means that I'm working on the right layer. I'm just zoomed in because otherwise I will be very, otherwise it will be very hard for me to distinguish. Because some of these, some of these draw, drawn feathers are sometimes really tiny. Oh wait.
so the idea upon um, getting this done is going to be great. Possibly. I don't know. Probably going to be great. I just need to get make sure that this is all fixed. But holy hell, it takes so much time and effort. Ooh. I'm not a very good person in that. Safe. So yes, I'm almost there. This gap is a little bit difficult because it's a little bit bigger than the other one, but it should be fine. Yeah. As you can see, this is way faster than the uh, other part of it, but yeah. Just take some time. Jeez uh, Louise. Sometimes it gets bigger, sometimes it gets shorter. You, know, you need to adapt in every single time you draw these little fellas. No need to zoom out even. So, so it's almost there. So we are close to getting to the end of it, which is good. Don't want to have everything there, but you know, we're getting there. Don't want to rush this one, so I'm just gonna get pointing out.
yeah, I'm almost there. Which is good. Which is quite good. And eventually, once this whole thing is done, then um, I think I'll call it a day because it's like I finished after part of the win. And I still need to keep up. I need to still keep the focus on. So yeah. Just drawing little textures is very fun to do, but you know it takes so uh, much time to get things done. Because of the texture that I'm gonna use, that I'm using for this wing, it's all manly made. The good news about it is that it is actually quite good looking because of the um, how do you say? It looks good because of the, uh, because of the inconsistency on the feathers. So the shape of the feathers are all different, so you know that they're handmade. The downside is is that your hand can sometimes be very, 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 very low on energy once you're done with it, because you need to do actually all the same. You need to do the same motion every single time from one angle, and uh, you need to keep that angle up until you're finished with the part. So once you're done with the angle, you know, you are almost finished, but it can really, really be painful for your hands sometimes. That's why I need to quit, because otherwise, you know, you might uh, in injure yourself because of the angle. But you know, it's good practice. There we go, fix that part. There you go. All right. Um, I think that's it for today. So we finally fixed up the wing a little bit. So we're now at we went from one to two to three. Oh no, we went from one to two to three. So we have now done two again. And then next, the next one is gonna be this one, and then that that one is the last one. So. Um, we fixed we fixed the blood and wing, which is very handy dandy, and um, I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, have a nice day.